Alright, welcome back guys to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we ground on a bowl for very... that sounds weird. Uh, rephrasing. I got a bunch of bullhorns, and also, more importantly... Okay, not more importantly. Honestly, the bullhorns are more important, but this is a nice bonus. Heart drinks. Um... We can't see? Because I guess it's just, you know, 1% at a time. But our bar isn't full anymore. I was kind of hoping that would actually show. Oh well. So, we have plus 12 to our HP from the beginning of, like, yesterday or the day before, whatever. Plus 9 over what we have currently. So we actually have 412 HP now. Which is, honestly, actually really cool. I'm very much happy with that. Oh. The beach is open on the first day of summer. Go chat with everyone and make new friends. Mayor Godwin. Nice. So, tomorrow is actually a festival. It's not, like, a competition or anything, but it's a festival nonetheless. Okay. So, just like the thing told me before, and I was you know, wasn't quite sure if it was accurate, they actually only produce every four days. Normally in Rune Factory and Harvest Moon games, your animals slash monsters will actually produce every day except for woolies, or sheep, which will do every like four to six days or whatever it is. That's not the case in this one. This one, it's just, you know. Skill up. Oh, another bullhorn. Which puts us a seven total. Another heart drink. Oh. Another bullhorn, which puts us at eight. Just one more, and I don't actually have to fight these guys anymore. Which is kind of sad, to be honest. Because this is a really good way to grind. And player level 51. Thank you very much. Nice. Aha! I got a broadsword. Not exactly useful, but it's still a drop nonetheless. And I got the warrior certificate in literally one kill. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Apparently, Camus actually likes milk. Hey, I was just thinking I'd like a small milk, thanks. I don't want to give him the warrior certificate because I just want to sell this one, but if I get more in the future, I can just give them to him. I don't think I have any use for them. They're used for making weapons, I believe, and I don't plan on making all the weapons. Just all the accessories and things. Thanks! Thanks! A wine is such an important thing! Welcome. So you're off to Misty Boom Cave, blah blah blah, yeah. So, it, you know, his birthday gift was given. Blah. I heard that you lost your memory somehow. Maybe you'll get it back if you eat something good. I wish it was that easy. Okay, here's what you wanted. A bamboo rod. Okay. So the flame saber normally sells for 3,500, but because we have a level 2 version, we can actually sell for 7,000, which I will do. I have no real use for it. I heard a rumor that there's some kind of activity among the ranks of the Sex Empire. I wonder if it has anything to do with the increase in the number of monsters around here. Thank you. Got it? I'll do that. Come and get it in four days. My father isn't dead or anything like that, but my mom won't tell me much about him, even if I ask. I wonder why not. Thank you for the rocks tea leaves.
Okay, we're gonna come in here. And we're just gonna kill this thing repeatedly. It can drop a shoulder piece, and I only need the one for shipping, so... Yep, that, that's it. <laughs> just Wom here. Also Wom here. Level up, nice. Okay, our next enemy to grind is the Hercules Beetle. Womp. We're attempting to get insect skin along with vital gummies off of it. But, you know, nothing's guaranteed in this one. I'm about to have to leave. If I want to get to the bathhouse in time, that is. Good evening. And this bath really feels good, eh? You can really sweat off any troubles you have here, huh? Alright, we're gonna keep grinding on those beetles for a bit. Mind you, if you're playing along, you don't have to do all this. This is all for my own completionist heart, just trying to fill out my entire shipping log. This is nothing to do with you guys, so like... If you're just trying to see how everything goes, you can skip this part and just do it grinding on a better enemy to get your stats up, or really do whatever you want. You could not be grinding at all. You could be going to bed early right now. Oh. One out of five insect skins. I might have went too late. Just because teleportation takes a second. Barely. Oof. That was actually fairly close. So, shoulder piece. This is quickly filling up. Alright. Red Crystal Seed, I'll plant that somewhere soon. I actually need to sell this. Alright, let's go to bed. <sighs> and now we take care of all the fluff balls. Or just completely miss them. Even the gooey fluff balls. And just to be sure, I still can't milk you. Nope. Skill up. Alright, it's summer now. And I just realized I never bought summer seeds. Whoops. I guess I'll have to do it tomorrow then. Just five more days. Five more days and we can actually start crafting. Okay, so the red crystal seeds go here. Okay, so now that it's 9 a.m. on a holiday, on, you know, the festival day, we're gonna be heading up here and we're gonna be doing quite a bit. Good morning. I never did like the ocean much. <laughs> The beaches are open for swimming today. I often swam when I was healthier, but now I just watch the waves. Morning. You know, it's really summer when they open the beaches up for swimming. Let's go for a swim. Good morning. The beach is open today. I like swimming, but wearing bikinis is so embarrassing. Good morning. The beach is open today. I love swimming at the beach. Actually, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> Can you swim, Raguna? Good morning. Hey, Raguna. I recommend this today. Um... <sighs> right. We can't do this. I forgot because I did it. Okay. That's rather unfortunate. Good morning. 
Cecilia loves the ocean, but it's dangerous for a child to play alone by the sea. The beach is open today. Now summer is really upon us. Morning. The beach is open today, eh? I wonder if I'll get to see Mist in a bikini. Okay, really? Was I... Uh, the worst. The beach is open today, don't they? I guess summer is really here. Do you like to swim, Mr. Raguna? Thank you. Good morning. The beach is open for swimming today. The harvest of the sea is also something I enjoy. Well, the beach is open for swimming today. I bet you're already picturing me in a bikini. Typical man. Morning. The beach is open for swimming today. In my homeland, we didn't wear bikinis, so I'm looking forward to it here. I mean, they do realize that there are other swimwear besides just bikinis, right? Morning. So the beach is open today, eh? It's nice to have a dip in the sea every now and then. At me age, the day for the beach is open for swimming doesn't really concern me, I... Morning. The beach is open for swimming today, but at my age, I don't really feel like swimming. Good morning. The beach is open for swimming today. It's gonna be hot every day and hard work out in the field. Thank you very much. Good morning. While the beach is open for swimming today, nothing like a nice cold drink in the summer. Good morning. The beach is open today. I think I'll go for a dip the next time I'm off work. Really? Thanks. Good morning. The beach is open for swimming today. I'm sure seeing Brazetta in a bikini will inspire my poetry. Thank you. The beach is open for swimming today. It's summer. It's a, I'm a summer kind of girl. Morning. The beach is open today. We're gonna have fun in the ocean turf. Hey. Morning. Oh boy, I can't wait to start playing at the beach again. Yippee, hooray! I'm so happy. It's that season again. The beaches are open for swimming. I love summer. Good morning. Summer starts today and beaches will open for swimming. Raguna, I hope you can enjoy yourself. Sadly, there's no swimming in this game, so this is just kind of a pointless festival. It's an excuse just to talk to people and get affection up. Thank you very much. Thanks. So that's actually everything we can do at the festival today. It's not a very eventful, but, you know, at least we were able to easily give everyone gifts and things. So, now we just move on. Let's go fight some uh, Hercules beetles. Yeah. So... The open beaches is something that they have somewhat in the other Rune Factory games, and during the summer of some of them, like the uh, uh, Ties of Destiny or Oceans, if you're in Europe, you'll actually be able to, you know, see the girls and guys out in swimsuits out on the beach, and it's cool. It's interesting. This game, they wanted to do that, but they didn't quite have, whether it being the budget or the expertise or whatever it was to get there. And, yeah, that's it's cool that they wanted to include it, but without anyone actually doing anything, it felt like a waste of a festival, I guess. Like, we could have at least, like, gone down to the beach and everyone could have handed each other a bunch of juice and stuff. Anything. But, I don't know, it felt weird and awkward. Oh. Another insect skin. Nice. I think I'm giving up on these enemies. Instead, gonna try out Carmite Cave's ants. Honestly, this should just be faster, assuming the drop rate isn't too different. I'll try the other one because I know the other one spawns too.
Dang it. Broke the spawner. Oh. And I already got an insect skin. Nice. Okay. Oh. Lamp grass seed. Nice. Not what I was expecting. Lampgrass seeds. Planted in spring requires time to grow, mainly used to make medicine. So it takes 90 days, and I can just plant those in the beginning of uh, Carmine. Easy. Another insect skin? Yeah, this is way faster. So I think I already have four out of the five I need. Oh. And I have all of them. I don't need to grow more of those right now. So I have three shadow crops going right now. I have the lamp grass inside of Carmite. I have the red crystal inside of uh, Tauros, I believe it is. And on Mount Gigant, I have the green crystal seeds. And since I have this, and I may as well use it. Okay, we have three more max HP now. Up. Okay. So we're gonna be killing these people in hopes that we get a bunch of skulls from them. We already have the hood that we need, and we only need the one because I don't plan on making weapons with it. But I mean, if we get extras, I guess I could look into making some of the weapons that look cool, or might just have interesting effects. Oh, we got one of the four skulls. Nice. Let's go to bed. <sighs> oh, it's raining. That's actually really good for us. Okay, well, as per usual, let's start off our day by doing our chores. If you would stop dancing around me, you are the absolute worst. Okay, now we have to water all of the crops. And back to grinding. For at least a little bit, that is. Another hood, which isn't useful, but it's fine. Oh, hey, a hood. Another hood. Okay, so the plan for today is to head over here and to get the fishing rod back. If I don't get stuck on it, it's raining today. It's raining today, we can't get the fishing rod back. He refuses to do anything on rainy days, even give us back the tool he said it would be ready today. God, he's the worst. Alright, um, scratch that. I'll just go around talking to some people right now, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. 
A magic book left by a legendary magical circle. Describes the recovery magic cure. You bought the magic book here. So now, with cure, magic book by Grand Mage Adam Narg. Cure, restorative magic. So now we won't just have to use, you know, medication. Now we can actually use something that heals more, just doesn't heal these stat effects, which is fine 90% of the time. Also, I wanted to check out these bookshelves down here. A Confession of Love. On a whole day when the weather is fine, give thanks for the blessings of the earth and give them the most delicious, biggest bottle of milk to a girl you like. Make sure you have taken a bath on that day and cleanse yourself. Time and place 9pm on the summit of Mount Clemens. Do this and propose to her, then you'll live happily for the rest of your days. This is less of a confession, more of a curse. Ugh. White Stone Legend. A stone lies deep inside a cave of deep white snow. It's hidden under a pi high pile of ancient ice. Any girl that is proposed to with the stone is rumored to live happily forever. Cursed Stone Legend There is a round stone in this world that brings misery to its holder. This stone can't be told apart from a normal stone, making it very dangerous. Dragon God Legend there are four dragon gods. They are Terrible, the god of land, Aquatus, the god of water, Fear Fire Fearsome? Fearsome, god of fire, and Ventuswill, god of wind. All are legendary creatures that have been depicted in ancient literature. Many people still believe they exist. Caves and mysterious sounds, caves and field runes, your status, I don't really need any of that. Roll a booty. Roll a booty is a legendary wine. Connoisseurs around the world are seduced by its deep scarlet charm. It's said that there are only ten bottles left in the world. One of these bottles is rumored to be at the home of renowned gastronomist Jasper Dane St. Wakil. The Legend of Grimoire. It's an ancient tale from the town of Cardia. It's said that it's both a god and a messenger of gods, and if you can get hold of it, you receive amazing powers. No human, no animal knows what form Grimoire takes. There exist theories that it's a hermit wizard living on Mount Gigant, or that it's a dragon. Dwarves were told of its existence of an item known as Grimoire's sword. Let's read about the world. The Sex Empire rule most of the world with their highly developed mechanical power. One of the few countries that haven't succumbed to their might is the Norad Kingdom. But it's a mystery as to how the Norad Kingdom has been able to fend off the Sex Empire. Our town of Cardia belongs to the Norad Kingdom. The Mysterious Shell The Mysterious Shell and the Beach Puzzles are local experts. Apparently you can exchange handwritten letters and screenshots with faraway friends. Is it just a rumor, or does this something good happen when you exchange items? Friendship and Love Press the Start menu, Start button, the Friendship and Love... Well, okay, this is... Love and friendship levels rise when you do things such as talk or give presents to people. Take part in events and talk to townsfolk at events as such as festivals, and these levels will ri uh, rise greatly. The love level will only rise for potential wives. The level for men, children, and older women can't go up. The maximum friendship and love level is 10. Keep courting until the love level for the girl you want to marry reaches 10. Okay. That was a mouthful. But we found out some interesting legends there. That book in the library, The Legend of the Cursed Stone, is really scary. I read it a long time ago. I got so scared I threw away all the stones I had. Or did I give them to Felicity? <laughs> That's a very interesting statement. I think I need to go talk to Felicity for a moment. Um... Probably at Newman's shop? Good morning. Oh yeah, Newman's on the second floor. He's such a pain, he never works when the weather is bad. Okay. So she won't talk about it right now. Um. Oh. About a year ago I was perfectly fine. I really don't know what caused me to be like this. A year ago, huh? I get so fu tired so fast, it's such a nuisance, I really wish I could get healthier somehow. About a year ago, I was perfectly fine, I really don't know what caused me to be like this. I have an idea. But we can't work with that right now. 
Just keep that in mind for later. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna spend all of our money. We're gonna buy three things of tomatoes. We actually don't even need a full stack, but I also want to cook a bunch and give them as gifts as uh, tomato juice. Corn, which can be made into corn on the cob, which is a good gift. Onions, which we actually need a total of 12 of, so we need two stacks of them, but other than that, I'm not quite sure what I'll do with the extras. Pumpkin seeds, just because I have a certain friend who would kill me if I didn't get at least three things of pumpkin. Pineapple, two of these. We only really need one stack, but I have a plan for some other things for it. Pot, uh, pink cat seeds, because, you know, good gift item for a certain effeminate friend yeah. of ours. Soft-spoken. Soft-spoken is a better way of putting it for him. Okay. And that's all of them planted. Luckily, we don't really have to worry about uh, watering them today, but in the future, we both can do it, and our monsters can do it as well. Um, we actually need some money now that we're kind of broke. So let's head in here and do that. Skill up. Two pieces of level five. One piece of level one. One piece of level 10. So I essentially got 21 pieces of gold. That's, you know, 12,600 gold. Nice. stacks right in here. And then the rest of the stacks right in here. We should be good on food for a while now. So now, back to our grind time. It's actually seriously starting to fill up with wood. So whenever I start going after more wood, I'll have good options. So there are only two enemies in the entire game who actually drop skulls. This is the easier and actually accessible version of the enemy. The next one is in like, I think the final cave? If not the final, it's the second to final. So we won't be getting there until next year. Well, I mean, we should actually be able to access it this winter because I'm kind of overpowered at this point, so... You know, it'll be easy, but I'm going after all the items as well, which means I'm going to be slow going during that. Fighting all the monsters, trying to catch all the fish, getting a skill up, you know, that kind of thing. Well, these guys do not like dropping skulls at all. I think I got lucky just getting the one I got. What even is the drop rate on these things? If it's like 5%, that seems about right. And it's only giving me hoods thus far. Not that I've had any hoods or any drops of any kind during this entire trip. The fact that I can go from skill level 59 to 61 and not get a single drop, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, time to hit up the bathhouse real quick. What? Phew. These things are just going to kill me out of boredom. I figure the drop rates were pretty similar. Some of the like stat boosting items might be more rare. Yeah, I got way more heart drinks off that one buffalo than I ever am getting anything off this thing. Oh, a freaking hood. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Wow, this actually sucks. Apparently, these skulls are just a rare item. Either that, or apparently they just don't like me. I'm really not sure. Because I got a bunch of the others immediately. See, I'm just getting hoods. I'm not asking where the hood at. Oh, another freaking hood. Well, I guess that's all we're getting for today. We got one skull 
and a bunch of hoods that I didn't even need. That hurts. Hurts a lot, really. Alright, so I have a grand total of seven hoods. I only needed the one I already had. But I got a skull. One out of, like, four, I think? Five? I don't know. I don't remember anymore. It's been a very long time. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Um, we'll be getting our fishing rod back next time, unless it's raining the entire next episode, which... Uh, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I guess it would kind of be bad, because if it was the entire next episode, then that means I might not be able to finish the house upgrade on the 6th, like I was planning, so... I don't know. Or maybe it's just automatically done, and it doesn't actually affect anything. He's just being lazy P POS. Whatever. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Guys, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.